Greetings, Internet. I'm Danny Danger, and I'm behind on my comics reading. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that I'm using to get caught up. If you watch my pull list every week, you know that I try to read everything. So it's really easy to fall behind, especially this time of year. It's right around the holidays. Everybody's so busy. I'm so busy. Sleep is for the week. I've been getting caught up the last couple of weeks, and I've got a pretty good technique as to how to do it. Number one, put aside your favorites. Saga, Rat Queens, Sex Criminals. I'm not letting those go by the wayside. The reason you want to make sure to keep up with this stuff is you're going to be the most ticked off if you read a spoiler online and you're not caught up yet. And come on, I mean, you know you're itching to anyway. If you love a comic as much as I love Saga, you're like reading it in the parking lot. Number two, alphabetize all of your comics. This is going to make it a lot easier to get through them. Just take a few minutes to do it. Also, when you stack them, try to stack them in alternating patterns. So like you get the big stack, divide it in half, and then flip it, and then divide that stack in half, and then flip it. So you've got it in quarters going opposite directions. Uh, this will help them lay more flat. If you can bag and board them and put them in a long box, absolutely do it. But busy time of year, craziness. I'm not going to be the person who tells you that you have to take absolutely perfect care of your comics because my comics are reading copies. So unless it's something that I'm specifically collecting, which I put aside, you know, it's all right to keep them in reading shape. Don't like, you know, play basketball with them or anything, but. Number three, once you have them alphabetized, check the Diamond website. Uh, Diamond's pretty good about putting out most of their releases at least a week ahead of time. So check Diamond's website and see what's coming up this week. And then go through your alphabetized stack and pull aside only the stuff that's coming out that current week. It's a really good way to stay caught up with things and stay in the loop and not get too behind, but to not overwhelm yourself with too much reading. Number four, accessorize. Ah, this is my portfolio. If you're wondering where I got the sticker, it's Tim Doyle at Nakatomi Inc. It's amazing. But having a portfolio is great because it'll hold about like 10 to 12 comics, a, a notepad, you know, some business cards, whatever you want to throw in there. But you never know when you're going to get stuck in a situation where you have time to read your comics. And time that you could be reading your comics and you're not is wasted time. Number five, and this is the most important one. Make time to just read. I know that you really want to get caught up on that TV show you're watching on Netflix or, you know, you really want to do that project or whatever you're working on, but making time to read is essential to getting caught up in your comics. There's just no way around it. Set up a really nice space for yourself. Get like a side table beside your favorite spot on a comfy couch or a hammock if the weather's nice. Just get some lemonade, you know, kick back. Just make some time and comfortable space for yourself to enjoy your comics because that's the best part. Do you have any tricks or tips for people trying to get caught up on their comic book collection? How do you handle the panic-inducing looming stack of comics when you're behind? Does it freak you out a little bit? Do you have nightmares about crawling into your bedroom? Tell me down below in the comments. Of course, pop on over to weird-girls.com and show us some love there. If you haven't seen Kelly Nova lately, you need to go visit her. Give her a warm hello from me. Have you added us to your circles on Google yet? Why not? We love circles.